Quixel's stunning cinematic short Rebirth debuted during Epic's State of Unreal opening session at GDC, showcasing an unprecedented level of photorealistic features in the gaming engine Unreal 4. I was so fascinated by the realism of this short film, I had to dig a little deeper to find out how this was all made. Welcome to Days of Thunder, simulation gaming news at its finest, stay tuned. Quixel, creators of the short film Rebirth, didn't make it on a whim. It sells 3D assets, which are basically bits and pieces you can use to create game environments using development tools such as Unreal 4 or Unity game engines. So this was obviously a great way to showcase what can be done using their stuff. I checked out their YouTube channel and in one of their earlier YouTube posts here, you can see Quixel artists using assets like this to build up a simulated forest. You could then stroll, drive or even fly around it. This short film Rebirth was created by the company using Quixel's Megascan's 3D physically based asset library. <laughs> okay, that's a mouthful. Which basically means they took photos of stuff and turned them into 3D models that you could add to your games. Or perhaps your sort of machinima slash CGI films. To prepare for the project, Quixel spent a lovely month in ice cold rain and thunderstorms scanning locations in Iceland, returning with over a thousand 3D scan models capturing a wide range of eco-regions and natural environments to feature in the short. The result is Rebirth, a 1-45 real-time cinematic set in a futuristic alien landscape. The high fidelity of the physically based scans delivers results that are incredibly photorealistic and show us just how awesome games are set to become in the near future. Quixel's artists were able to build in real time. This meant that they could cut down on all the pre-visualization or post-production guff meaning less cost to a project like this. I'm a big fan as a creative to construct tangibly. I want to make things with my hands and iterate rather than get all organized and stuff. So this suits me just fine. The team also built a physical camera rig that was able to capture movements inside the game engine using virtual reality, adding an enhanced dimension of realism to the short. The film was color graded and rendered out in real time directly with Unreal. So basically this was all done inside a game engine. Today we can watch this, but the time is fast approaching that anyone with a reasonable desktop computer and a bit of mouse could make this type of project themselves. The goal of Quixel, as per CEO Teddy Bergsman, is to democratise high-end 3D assets so that everyone can create captivating photorealistic content and experiences. I went out and created this to see what I could do in After Effects. It's not a 3D world, but it's one step closer thanks to Quixel's inspiration. If the idea of running around creating photorealistic worlds in VR gets you excited too, make sure you subscribe. If I can do it, I will share it with you. Till next time, I'm Paul Cruz with the Days of Thunder News.